Hey you, it's Hey Jessica, and today I'm back with something crazy, fun, and crazy requested, and that is how do you set up an evergreen course? Okay, so online courses are all the rage, and I actually have a video that teaches you how to create a course, so if you want that, just, you know, up there. But you're hearing about sales funnels and evergreen courses and all of this, and you have no freaking clue how to set that up. Like, you can figure out how to set up a course, and you can figure out how to sell it, right? But you have no clue how to do it on autopilot. So that's what I'm teaching you today. Essentially, you really only need one tool to get this done, in addition to your course selling platform. So you can use Thinkific, or um, WordPress, or Teachable, or whatever you're using to host your course, but you need one other tool to create an actual evergreen sales funnel, and that is my favorite thing in the world, ConvertKit. So before we really get to the ConvertKit part, I want to tell you how you're going to get someone on to ConvertKit, and then I'm going to show you how to use ConvertKit to set up the evergreen funnel. Now, like I've talked about in the past, you wouldn't just send somebody to your launch page and say, hey, you should just buy this, you have no clue who I am and why you should buy it and why I'm smart, but you should buy it. Right? So you actually need to send them to some type of free content that allows them to, number one, understand your teaching style, number two, understand that you rock at what you do and you're actually knowledgeable, and number three, start to learn to know, like, and trust you. So send them somewhere to some type of free content. That can be an evergreen webinar, that can be a opt-in or a freemium or a, a whatever we're calling it today, or that can be a challenge or really anything that someone can opt in, get, and start learning with for free. So here's what happens. They opt in and then they go on a list somewhere. This is where ConvertKit comes in handy. They go on a form inside of ConvertKit and that form is hooked to a sequence which will then do the whole process for you. So I'm going to show you how to set this up in ConvertKit because it's literally as easy as form, sequence, sale, and that way you know how to sell your course in an evergreen way and in a way that makes you money while you sleep. Also, if you want a free month of ConvertKit, I've got that for you too. It's down below this video and you can click that link and get a free month and I get a little money. So there's that. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, when you open ConvertKit, you'll want to create a form that someone will come in on. So this, again, can be some type of free content, either a webinar or a, just a freebie or whatever. You'll then attach that form to somewhere they can sign up. So for instance, this is a sign up page on my website where I have a ConvertKit form tied in and they can sign up for my ultimate tech guide for online entrepreneurs. So what you do is you set up the form inside ConvertKit and attach it to a page on your site. And that's really all. This is the page on your site that you'll send everybody to when trying to sell this evergreen content. So if you're running a Facebook ad or you're being interviewed on something, this is the page you'll send people to so they can go down your funnel and eventually buy what you're wanting them to buy at the end. Okay, so in ConvertKit, after you've created the form, you'll go in and create a sequence that attaches to that form. This sequence can go in so many different directions, but for simplicity and time's sake, it's just going to be a solid sequence. So you'll just create a sequence that goes along with this form. You can just give it a name. And what you'll do is you'll have the first email going out, giving them whatever they signed up for. So it'll need to go out immediately and you'll give it to them for whatever they signed up for. So again, if, I, if they're wanting my tech guide, this email would be like, here's the delivery of your tech guide and it might tell them more about what's in it and how they can use it and how um, they, you know, whatever. 
Then you can add more emails to this sequence. Let's say the next day you want to send an email that says, hey, have you had a second to dive into the tech guide? Um, if not, here's what's in it. And you can just reference it as you need it. So I might give them a little more like help or whatever towards whatever the free thing was. Then I can continue to add emails where I get they get to know me and get to know my products or services. This can all be in the same sequence inside of ConvertKit tied to the form where they signed up for this free thing. So maybe I'll do a couple more emails where they get to know me and then I start priming them for the sale. Maybe I start saying, hey, um, you know, once you are ready for to take something <laughs> to the next level, you might want to do this, 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 or this, and I start priming them for the sale. And then in an email, I give them the link to possibly go buy one of my courses. So let's say this ultimate tech guide was eventually priming them to purchase my Facebook ads course. So I would go in and I would create emails in this sequence and I would say, hey, like, you don't know me yet, but here's who I am and here's what I do and here's how you should use this tech guide and just really let them get to know me. Then in the later emails, I might say, you know, one of the tutorials in the tech guide is how to set up your Facebook pixel. Here's why you need to know how to set up your Facebook pixel. Here's what you might be losing if you've not set up your Facebook pixel, et cetera, et cetera. Then I might go on to say, um, here's how you do something with Facebook ads and give them some really good, valuable information. And then in an ending email, I might say, you know what? I've got a Facebook ads course. And if you buy in the next 24 hours, you can get it at X, Y, or Z price. And I put some kind of expiring link based on the services and systems I have in place. And they purchase because they got that email at the end of the sequence after signing up for this thing. So it is literally that easy, setting up a form in ConvertKit, hooking it to a signup page, or just using ConvertKit's built-in landing pages, and then hooking a sequence that takes them all the way from freebie to purchasing in the emails. You can space them out based on how far between each email you want them to send. Um, you can filter people out. So if people buy at the end and you have another email that says, hey, you didn't buy, why didn't you buy? You might want to filter that specific email and not send it to the people who purchased. It's really, really easy to build out an evergreen funnel in ConvertKit. So if this is something you're wanting to do, this is exactly how you do it. See, wasn't that easy? You have your course already set up. You have your freebie usually already set up in some way. And all you need to do is bridge that gap between the two and ConvertKit is the perfect tool. So just follow what I just did and make yourself some money while you're like binging on Gilmore Girls or catching up on Game of Thrones or, you know, eating Cheetos naked on the couch. Either way, if you liked what you saw today, hit subscribe below because I want you coming back for all of my nerdy business content. Till next time, bye y'all.